This is the M40, the flagship enterprise storage array from iX Systems, a 4U dual controller capable enterprise storage system that supports either all flash or hybrid and can be scaled up to two petabytes of raw storage. Let's take a look. Oh my gosh, we never get hardware like this. I am super excited. It's not every day we get our hands on an enterprise storage system. Yeah, that's for sure. We've sailed right past home lab. Oh yeah. So, ready to take a look at the M40? Are you kidding me? Let's do it. Let's start from the beginning. The True NAS M40 from iX Systems is an enterprise storage system that's designed for heavy IT storage workloads, including virtualization, media production, high-speed file sharing, and backup. The M40 along with the M50 and M60 run TrueNAS Enterprise and offer all of the enterprise level features you'd expect from a class of hardware like this, including high availability, hybrid and all flash storage configurations, high speed networking and more. Let's dig into the physical dimensions. The M40 is a 4U storage system that measures in at 686 millimeters deep by 483 millimeters wide by 178 millimeters high. The system is designed to be mounted into a 19-inch four-post rack or cabinet and comes with rack rails that extend to a maximum of 36.5 inches in length for those of you rocking deep cabinets. Empty, this beast weighs in at 75 pounds and fully loaded comes in at 114 pounds, so bring a partner when mounting it in your cabinet. The M40's front-loaded storage supports up to 24 hot-swappable 3.5 or 2.5 SSDs or hard disks. The system supports up to two additional storage shelves, bringing its maximum raw storage to two petabytes, which is an incredibly mind-blowing amount of capacity. On each side of the M40, you'll find independent power, health, disk, and network indicator LEDs, as well as a power button to power up or down the individual controllers in the unit. Power delivery for the M40 is provided by dual redundant 1200 watt power supplies. iX System states that the M40 with a single controller has a maximum power draw of 825 watts and with the additional high availability controller peaks at 950 watts. The switching PSUs support 100 to 240 volts and the unit comes with both C13 to NEMA 515 and C13 to C14 power cables. Above the removable PSUs, behind a removable fan tray, we find four 2.5-inch U.2 NVMe disk bays where the M40's read cache storage is located. The M40 supports up to 3.2 terabytes of NVMe read cache. In terms of standard I.O., the M40 comes standard with a dedicated IPMI or management interface, two USB 3.0 ports, two USB 2.0 ports, dual 10-gig base T NICs, 9-pin serial, and a standard 15-pin VGA connection. The system is spec'd with a dual 10, 25, 40, or 100 gigabit NIC. Our eval unit came with a dual 100 gig QSFP Plus NIC, and the M40 also has dual port 12 gigabit external SAS connections to connect two additional direct attached SAS shelves to get that impressive two petabyte storage limit. Opening up the M40 is done by loosening a thumb screw, pulling down the locking lever, and sliding out the tray containing the controller. We were pleasantly surprised to see what appears to be a standard Supermicro X11 SPI TF ATX motherboard as the base of the M40 controller. It's no secret that iX Systems uses Supermicro as their OEM for their systems, and we appreciate the lack of proprietary hardware inside the system. Under the covers, the M40 runs a single socket Intel Xeon Silver 4210R CPU on an Intel C622 chipset. The 4210R is a 10-core, 20-thread processor with a base clock of 2.4 GHz that boosts to 3.2 GHz and has a TDP of 100 watts. Plenty of compute for high-performance storage operations. The M40 controller supports up to 192GB of DDR4 ECC RAM, includes 16GB of NVDIMM for a ZFS log, and can be configured with fiber channel if you're still rocking that in your org. Inside our demo unit, we see the dual 100 gig NIC, the U.2 interface card for the read cache, an internal SAS controller for the 24 bay disk storage up front, an external SAS controller for additional shelves, and the interface card for the NVDIMM write cache. Lastly, we see an onboard M.2 NVMe disk, which is the OS install drive. Cooling is managed by four 60mm high-performance fans for airflow located in the inside front of each controller, and each controller interfaces through a variety of connectors up front into the 24-disc bays. Our eval unit was delivered with dual controllers for high availability, 192GB of RAM, 16GB of NVDIMM for ZFS log cache, a mirror pair of 1.6TB NVMe disks for read cache, and 24 18TB Western Digital DC-HC550 12GB mechanical SAS drives for a grand total of 432TB of raw storage. The M40 also shipped with a dual 100GB NIC as well. 
iX Systems targets the M40 at any business or enterprise looking for high performance storage that needs to be flexible and scalable. The system runs TrueNAS Enterprise, which provides features not available in the core version of TrueNAS. For example, the M40 would function well as an iSCSI storage backend for VMware virtualization thanks to its supported VMware VAAI compatibility, ESXi snapshot integration, and more. The system also supports KVM, Citrix Zen Server, and Hyper-V if VMware isn't your org's virtualization cup of tea. The M40 would also be a perfect candidate for a file-level NAS role with its support for SMB versions 1, 2, and 3, ADS integration for access control for Windows networks, NFS version 3 and 4 for Linux Unix file sharing, as well as a backup storage target for applications like Veeam, Asigra, Acronis, and more. And with dual controllers, the system offers high availability to help keep your sysadmins sleeping well at night. There are notable differences between the M40 and other enterprise storage systems from the big vendors like Dell and HPE. For example, the M40 and TrueNAS in general aren't software-defined storage solutions like you see offered from Compellent, 3PAR, and others. You are in complete control of how you define your storage pools and VDEVs on TrueNAS. And depending on the role of your system, you'll want to evaluate different VDEV layouts to strike the right balance between IOPS performance and capacity. Whereas other big vendor storage systems may offer SDS storage that decides disk group and pool layouts for you. Thankfully, IX Systems has a lot of documentation online to help inform that decision. Another big point to mention is that TrueNAS uses OpenZFS for the file system, which brings with it a lot of enterprise features that you would likely otherwise have to pay for in addition with other storage systems. For example, OpenZFS features self-healing data protection, adaptive compression, and unlimited snapshots and storage replications built into TrueNAS. To do maintenance on controllers, the M40 requires proper shutdown for HA failover. Whereas other storage systems based on a more proprietary hardware and software can sustain the pulling of a hot controller without missing a beat. Of course, it's not smart to pull an active controller from any storage system without migrating roles for data integrity. But we do think it says something about the M40 that it required having a big sticker warning you to shut down a controller first. Overall, the M40, like the M50 and M60, are fantastic high-performance storage systems that, coupled with the power of TrueNAS, allow you to extend the functionality of the storage system in ways very few other storage vendors can match. TrueNAS Enterprise and Scale, when it is released, allow you to run VMs, jails, and more directly from the system itself, giving the flexibility to maximize your storage and compute in ways no other enterprise storage vendor can. Thank you for watching our first look at the M40 from iX Systems. We'd love to know what you think, so get down to those comments and tell us. Would you like to see something tested? Do you want to know more? Let us know. If this is the first time you've seen us, subscribe! If you like what we do here and want to be all social, consider following us on Twitter and Instagram. And lastly, get on our Discord. It's a great place to talk about home labs, storage, PCs, and more. And we'd be happy to have you. Thanks for watching.